uh, full moon. Well, good afternoon everybody, or rather shall I say good evening. It's late afternoon should I say, that's probably a better way of putting it. So, I'm going out into the woods tonight. Set up a, setting up a small tent. For British Army Basher as well, but I want to test it out in preparation for a walk that I want to do during the year 2023. So I just want to feel what it's like. So we'll get the camp set up. I've already had some dinner and it's before I came out I've got some snacks if I get hungry tonight and I'll cook a nice breakfast in the morning before I break camp there's a bit of a nip in the air I don't think it's going to drop down to below zero but even if it does I think with the setup that I've got I'll be quite warm so let's get into the woods before it gets too dark and get camp set up
So this is the tent that I'm going to be trying out today. It's called the Blackthorn One One Person Trekking Tent. Give that a try. See if it's any good. This is the uh, this is the inner part of the tent. Let's go put that over back in the ground sheet. Get this, uh, get the ends pegged down. So that's, uh, that's the ends put down. Now what I want to do is get the get the poles. Now within this tent you get two you get two poles. Only thin carbon fibre. You get one at that size, and that's the bottom, I believe. And then you get a larger one. Which is uh, the same, but bigger. Uh, and this, that'd be the top end. So you have to thread those through these through these loops. So let's do that now. It all goes through quite easily. And there's some brass loops down. I'll bring the camera down a little bit. You can see these brass loops. So the leg just clips into the brass loop one side and we'll do exactly the same exactly the same on the other side okay then we can just pull pull all that That's, that's the head end done. And then we're going to do exactly the same with the bottom end. And thread that through, through the loop. Into the little brass eyelet. Again, the same on the other side. That's it. 
quite tight. Now there is some little hooks on here so you can hook it onto hook it onto the <coughs> frame. It's got them all the way around. That's the inner part of the tent complete. The next part is the outer sheet which is an MTP design. And put some more pegs in and pull that tight. They're elasticated. They're elasticated as well, which is useful. I've got a ground sheet underneath. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to puncture a hole in it, but I'm going to use one of the pegs that come with it, which are a little bit feeble to be honest, but it will do the job that I want it to do. At least I think it will. <laughs> a ridge line from this tree to those those small trees there and I'll do this quite low down at this point I'm going to do it quite low quite low here and you'll see why in a moment This week I bought the uh, British Army Basher in MTP. And let's get that on the ridge line.
I've got uh, got my bungees. I bought some green ones as well, but these ones are light because they're a bit longer. They're thinner. They're not so much of a heavy weight normally in my bag, but uh, I weren't really sure how I was going to be setting this up today. So I'll go around the back first. Just hook that through one of the tabs. I think I'll take that across to the bottom of this tree. Just hook that around like so. And around the front. And hook that into there. As you can see, there's only enough room for a person to lay in there. But when you set up the canopy above it as well, you create a nice little camp. Let's just imagine for one minute though that uh, you know, we haven't got the canopy above, above it and we're just out, just out on a trek. This tent will be just what you need. There is a little bit of a vestibule in the sides to put your kit, your boots and so on. But uh, you'll probably be wise to um, have a bag cover as well. So I've got the Trekology Aluft UL80. And that's the bed that I'm going to be using tonight. So I've got a little flex tail pump. Which is great. But for, for a couple of minutes it does make a noise. Especially if you're in the quiet woods at night. See, I'm always looking around when I'm making any noise. What were them meerkats looking around? Uh, 
whenever you're doing this as well, you're thinking, come on, hurry up, hurry up, so I can go quiet again. I said, it doesn't take very long. And the UL80 only just fits in this tent. Literally, only just. Let's pack all these bits away before I lose them. Oh, and I've also got a pillow from Trackology as well. That's also the Ayla pillow. I absolutely love this. Just going to blow this up. And that's got the elastic on the bottom of it that will go around the bottom of the the bed to stop it moving about. Our sleeping bag. This is made by Four Class, which is decathlon. It says it goes down to zero degrees. Um, I've I've slept in this, probably not at zero, but it has been pretty cold. But I felt nice and toasty and warm in it. Plump this up a little bit. Get that inside.
Cool. Oh, nice cup of tea. Suddenly remembered I uh, got this lot lantern from Decathlon, but I don't remember charging it up, <laughs> which could be a problem. Oh, hang on, no, we're okay. Red, white, we're off. The good thing about this is, though, I think, that uh, if I run out of battery, I can charge it up by winding it, which is good. So I'll be hanging that inside, inside the bedroom. So I must start remembering to charge things up before I before I come out. But I'll finish my cup of tea. Now I'm gonna get into bed. I've got all my gear scattered around, but I am underneath this canopy, so I know if, if, we do, if it does rain, which I don't think it's going to, but if it does, at least I know. At least I know it will be dry. But I will put my boots inside the little vestibule at the side here. Let's turn the cup upside down so nothing goes crawling inside it. There's my phone, my glasses, because I'm going to need to keep them nearby. Got my light, got my head torch. Boots can go go in the vestibule at the side there, so they don't get no damp in them.
for night everybody. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. That was quite a good sleep, actually. I slept for quite a long time. I haven't opened the tent yet, but it looks like it's very bright out. Those ought to start thinking about okay. getting out, really. One thing about this tent, it's very compact. It's almost like being in a blooming coffin, actually. <laughs> But it is lightweight, I suppose that's uh, one thing. But yeah. Let's have a look, Let's have a look outside. Oh my word, it's a bit, a bit bright out. Huh? Oh, it looks like a really nice day. What time is it? Oh my God, it's nine o'clock. Oh, I didn't realise it was that late. Oh, I better, better get up and get the, get the stove on. Oh. Yeah, this tent, uh, it was all right. It's, um, I mean, I'm only 5'8", and I think if uh, you're only taller than 5'8", you're struggling a bit, to be honest. It's long enough at the bottom of it, but by the time you've got your bed and your sleeping bag, because of the angle of the ends, but no, I quite like it. It's all right. It's stealthy. If nothing else, it's very stealthy. Anyway, I expect I better get to uh, get up and get cracking.
All right, let's get let's get a fire on the go. Some bacon lard ons <laughs> going in. <sighs> Need to cut these sausages up. Cutting my sausages up into little pieces. Oh, the fire's burning well. Just get them on the go. Oh, let's put a bit of, put a bit of juice in there first, shall we?
So inside here I've just put some I've just put some noodles. Just put some noodles in into the pot. Put that on just to keep that warm and use it as a lid as well. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just setting up a setting up my little stove as well, so I can keep keep everything keep everything on the go. So let's put that back on there. Put that on there. Let's get this on the go. Just added a, uh, a little bit of barbecue flavouring to this. I know it's not what you would normally have for your breakfast, but uh, it looks absolutely beautiful. Okay. Okay, the noodles are just going soft now, so I shall turn that off. Just want to drain the noodles down a bit. That's it. Let's move the oven. Okay, I'm not just going to tip this in, I'm just going to spoon it in. Like that, put that over there to cool down. Okay, All right. let's get this, uh, get this stirred in. Yeah, so I've got bacon, lardons, uh, sausages, mushrooms, tomato, and 
a barbecue flavouring with some noodles all mixed together. I'm starving and this, this smells beautiful. So I'm just going to get this down me. And I'm eating it straight out of the frying pan. I just need to get this breakfast down, may have a cup of tea. And crack on. You'd never know I've been here. I 
I've signed up to take part in the Castaway 5 day survival challenge in the Lake District in September 2023. I'll be escaping technology and all of the luxuries of life. And by taking part in this challenge, I'll be raising money for the Royal British Legion who offer lifelong support to veterans, servicemen, women and their families. I'm keen to take on this challenge to do my part in supporting their work. In case you're not familiar with the variety of work that the Royal British Legion undertake, it's surprisingly varied. But most importantly, they care for the whole family of those affected by the impact of service life. They help to ensure the highest quality of care for those suffering physical and mental issues and help families that need time to reconnect. Your donation will mean the Legion can ensure the best quality rehabilitation and support for all. I would really appreciate your support if you would like to sponsor me for this event. I'm also planning a long distance walk in the near future to help raise money for the Legion as well. I'll keep you informed of this event and of course we'll be taking you along for the experience. I've set up a Just Giving page which is going to be in the description below. So please, please support me in this. Thank you very much for listening and I hope you all had a brilliant Christmas and I'd like to wish each and every one of you a happy new year. Please support the British Legion. I've got to get across this ditch. Which ain't going to be easy, to be honest. Not with a backpack on. I think I need to go a bit further along. It looks a little bit uh, shallower. Uh, branches round me. There we go. Oh. Oh. Oh, a branch round my leg. There's another tangle there. Right, let's get up. Well, that was hard work getting over that ditch. Anyway, let's get cracking with this walk. Can't believe the temperature's dropped so much. It's the wind chill factor, really, because the wind has got up. And there's a real nip to it. I might have to put a woolly hat on in a minute. How bright and beautiful it was first thing this morning when I woke up. Now the sky has gone just white. And the wind's picking up quite dramatically actually. It's starting to rain as well. I'm just trying to keep to the edge because this is very, very boggy along here. On this path, we have to remember that this is a bridleway, so you get horses coming along here as well as, as well as walkers and joggers.
Go on you two, I've got carrots for you. Don't want to come out in the rain, I suspect, do you? It's only a shower, won't hurt you. You come in. I'm not sure they want to get a carrot from here. I think I'll try and go a bit nearer. How do you want carrots? Get my then. There you go. There you go. That's it, you have the carrot, that's it. Well done. Is that nice? There you come for a carrot. There you go. That's it, enjoy. That's it, good lad. I'm not going anymore, sorry. I'm not going anymore for you. Oh, next time I'll bring you two each. All right. Is that all right? You can't eat my camera. You don't want to do that. Do you? Are you going to try and eat it as well, are you? You can't. Is it? <laughs> That's it. Is that nice? Do you want a little stroke? You're, you're, you're a bit more shy, aren't you? Come on. That's it. Come on. That's it. That's it. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah? So, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. I really do appreciate your viewing. I love coming out every weekend and making them. So if you like what you see in the videos and want to see more, please click on subscribe. And if you click the notification bell, you'll know when I'll put a new video. And I upload one every week. Again, thank you for watching. And it would be great if you click like. And if you want to leave a comment, that would be fantastic. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, stay safe out there.